Climate peace is about what we hear, what we hear from the voices of Nubian queens. So, I'm thinking back to a time that was way before time, when we African people held our heads high and we walked with pride. We worked hard in the compound and hunted in the fields. The grown folk stayed strong and the baby's bellies were filled. We used the dialects of the places that we came from, but those differences didn't matter because we sang the same song of unity, of family, of spirituality, about our humanity. We knew we were a people bound together by our Africanity. <sighs> Though our history shows it wasn't always sweetness and light. At times we disagreed, yes, we went to war, and yes, we had our fights. We fell out like all families do. We didn't always kiss and make up. But an unseen force kept us going, even when the going got tough. Then we went through an unimaginable experience of suffering. We endured capture, enslavement, and an enforced silencing. But we knew the wisdom and the power that lay in our words. So we spoke through drums, dance, and gestures that Massa never heard. Today, we know the human voice can be used to whisper words of love. It's a powerful tool for learning when used to guide or to instruct. The power of just one word said in a calm and thoughtful way can express so much more than a thousand words could ever say. And today, there are events happening all around the world. And though we are still fighting to get all women's voices heard, I hope that today our sisters' stories of courage, strength and determination has shown what is possible when we use our voices wisely and when we know our mission. And so, our voices have the power to reach millions, so let's use ours to heal. Let us say kind words to ourselves and to others to help us overcome life's trials and ordeals. And while we should remember and celebrate the positive achievements of all women, today we have been blessed with the stories and the voices of our past and present Nubian queens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.